Hi and welcome to our product presentation of our new line of boxes. Stardust, Aurora and Luna, as we call them, the next generation. Yes. Starting off with our flagship model, Stardust. What have we done here, Michael? Yeah, so Stardust uh, is an 8 universe CRMX transmitter uh, with support also for uh, WDMX protocol. Mm -hmm. um, it has a gigabit Ethernet interface mm -hmm. uh, and a Wi-Fi interface for connection from uh, iPads or uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, uh, streaming ACN or ARCnet in as inputs and eight wireless universes being transmitted. Nice. What about control? Uh, how do we configure these boxes and operate them? Yes, yeah, so basically there are three separate ways mm. that you can uh, configure these boxes. First, obviously the most notable, mm. uh, we have uh, all new user interface uh, in the front of the units. So a full color TFT display with a classic uh, push and twist type of knob mm. uh, where you can make all the settings that you need. Mm. Um, the other option is obviously connect to it via Ethernet or Wi-Fi and use your web browser to connect the make all the settings, what universes to use, name stuff and so on. Uh, and you also have in the user interface, you have the, the stuff that you're used to from Supernova, like oh. with the uh, coexistence view or the spectrum monitoring, all built in directly into the unit. No need for additional software. No need for additional software. Or finally, you can use the Bluetooth interface to connect using your phone or mm. tablet using the CRMX Toolbox app that's been out for a while now. Mm -hmm. Great. Mentioning the uh, front panel interface, so if you're moving the unit between two sets and then you need to do some quick settings, what happens when you disconnect it? Yes, yeah, so first when you disconnect it, uh, it will stay on because it has a built-in battery backup that lasts somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes. Um, which will allow you for re-rigging power and so on without the device going down. Mm -hmm. And um, what can of different power options do you have for Stardust? Stardust can be powered either from mains power mm -hmm. uh, with a true one uh, power con connector. Uh, it can be powered from power over Ethernet. Mm -hmm. uh, or it can be powered through a lockable uh, DC barrel plug mm -hmm. uh, that can also go together with our V-mount battery accessory mm -hmm. uh, that will be available for this unit. Like you can just bolt the V-mount pack directly onto the unit that will power it for, but depending on the size of the battery, of course, but maybe 8 to 12 hours mm -hmm. um, before needing to change the battery. Nice. Um, which also obviously goes for the other boxes that you can uh, use that V-mount battery for. What other accessories are available? We have a V-mount battery accessory and we also have... Yeah, we have rack mounting mm -hmm. uh, brackets, uh, like for Stardust also brings the antenna to the front of the rack. So a rack wide with four antennas on the yes, front. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, we have wall mounting brackets, like if you want to put it on the wall. Mm. Uh, and there is also available a uh, joke type of uh, mm. rigging uh, options. Um, so on one side of the, all of these units, we have uh, a 3.8 inch uh, mm. thread. Uh, and on the other side of the units is an M10. So depending on like if you're in the North America or if you're in Europe, for instance, uh, mm. you might have different types of uh, clamps that uh, fits into these. So mm. we put both of them in here to make it easy, regardless of where in the world you are. Yeah, perfect. We take a look at the new features that we have been uh, putting in these things. Yes, so obviously apart from the eight universe um, that are fully, syn fully synchronized, uh, they will coordinate the frequency hopping between them. One new feature in this box I will call Fleet Alliance, mm. uh, where you can put multiple of these boxes onto the same network. They so, will mm -hmm. automatically coordinate the frequency usage between them so that they don't disturb each other. So uh, depending on your layout in the studio, for instance, uh, you may have two of these set up in one corner, put mm. them onto the same what we call Fleet ID, mm. uh, say, and they will coordinate between them. Uh, of the frequency usage 
maybe in the other end of the studio you have some other set of uh, transmitters that are in an other fleet so to say mm -hmm. uh, coordinating between each other mm -hmm. uh, so you can put like a multiple of these units uh, together uh, to gain even more universes and um, there's another feature that we've been uh, putting in called linking key yes so typically uh, with crmx when doing the linking it has been the process of pressing the button on the transmitter but what we added is like in the ui you can go in and you can enter your own type of password mm. uh, that will generate these uh, credentials for the network which means that you can use it for instance if you have two of these you can type the same password into both of them and you can have that as like maybe you're on location having one unit and then you're in the studio using another transmitter but they will both act as if they were the same transmitter so all your fixtures that have been linked to one of them will automatically pick up the other one or if you're in two different sound stages you can have one transmitter in each and you're moving equipment back and forth between the studios one other way this can be used is for instance in this unit in the aurora here you can enter like the linking key mm. Uh, that you know that you had on your transmitter and then the linking will happen automatically without you having to push the buttons on uh, the transmitter. So you can link from a receiver side. Yes, you can link from a receiver, person. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Should we take more into details about the um, Aurora? Yes. Mm -hmm. As we can say, it's a one universe uh, flex unit. Uh, still has uh, the TFT display and the menu system configurable via the app also. Mm. It also has a Wi-Fi, mm. uh, can act for instance as an access point uh, when doing uh, using apps like uh, Blackout or Luminaire or Stage Light and, and so on, can mm. connect and sending streaming ACN or Artnet mm. to the box over the Wi-Fi. And there's one feature in this box that I think many would be interested of, is moving between universes. Yes, so when you're using these Aurora boxes as uh, receivers uh, paired together with the Stardust, uh, you will also have the opportunity to directly in the menu system see the other universes that are being transmitted. So you can very quickly like go in and just change from, let's say, universe 2 into universe 7 uh, if you realize that you did mm. like the linking wrong or your the demand changes a, a bit so that you now need a few receivers to be on another universe. You can very easily change that over. One thing that has been added also is the ability to name the universes. Um, so you can put your names, your custom names onto the universes that will automatically show up on the receivers when they're linked so that you know much clearer what universe you have them linked to. So you can see that you're on stage two right now. Yes, for instance, like you, you may um name one of the universes like uh, stage left one and stage left two and or wh however you want to name them uh, so you can just type that into directly into the ui and that mm. will show up on the receivers i know already that there are some oem mm. customers also that started to integrate that into their products very nice and um, it also features the dmx connectors the yes so um the uh, Aurora has uh, one in and one out, uh, mm. so it's a through on mm. the DMX. And the DMX ports also uh, have an automatic termination. So unless you plug in a cable in the mm. output port, mm. uh, the ports will be automatically terminated. Uh, so you no need for extra termination plugs or so. Mm. And then we have um, baby brother Luna. The little one, yes. Uh, so. Luna, uh, I would say, is the entry level mm. box. Um, it's built with the same rugged aluminum uh, chassis, uh, same like uh, safety wire and etc. Same Chassis. radio. Same, same radio. performance. Yep. Uh, it doesn't have the Wi Fi and mm. it doesn't have the screen. Mm. Uh, it's also a flex unit, so you can act as transmitter or mm. receiver. So these are the three new units from Lumen Radio. We have Stardust, Aurora, and Luna. They will be shipping at the end of this year, so if you want more information or if you're interested, talk to your local distributor or check out our webpage for more information. That's all we have for today.
Thanks for watching and uh, bye.